Hello everyone and welcome back to Mammalian Anatomy at Cuca College. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about online etiquette that will enhance our use of um, Microsoft Teams in our synchronous classes. So why do we need to use online etiquette? There is a number of reasons. One, it's going to allow for communication to be a lot easier because it's going to help us avoid talking over each other, interrupting each other, and also prevent a lot of technical difficulties that can occur when we're using an online learning tool. So, for example, feedback is a really uh, big issue when we're having a conversation with so many people. So today what I'd like to do is kind of go over some of the ways that we can practice good online etiquette so we can have the best uh, classroom experience possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen right now so that you will be able to follow along and see some of the features that we can use to aid our learning experience. All right. So I should be sharing my screen at the moment if this is working well. Uh, please forgive me. Um, if, please forgive me if uh, this is still kind of working out. OK. So first and foremost, when we are going to be in a classroom situation, what I would like you to do is turn off your audio uh, if you are not talking. So the way to be able to do that or to mute your audio would be uh, right here. You can see this little microphone icon and when uh, the microphone icon is open, uh, your microphone is on and you are able to speak to the class. And when it is off, your microphone icon is um, going Can you hear me now? So a moment ago, I muted my microphone and you probably couldn't hear me. And so this is the easiest way to toggle back and forth to having your microphone on and off. So why do we want to have our microphone off if we're trying to have a conversation as a class? Um, first and foremost, it comes down to feedback. So what is feedback? So when you have a speaker and a microphone that are really close together, what can happen is the uh, information or noise can come out of the speaker and then be picked up by the microphone and it will loop back and forth and it will create this really screechy, uh, probably one of the most annoying sounds in the world and it will be very difficult to have a conversation or to talk if there is a significant amount of feedback going on. So. Keeping your microphone off unless you have to, uh, unless you would like to participate and make a statement in the conversation is the best way to kind of avoid that. Also, another way to avoid that is using these handy dandy earbuds. I bet a lot of you guys have them. It would be really nice if you had one with a little microphone uh, attached to it. Uh, if not, that's okay. Still just having a set of earbuds and then using the speakers in your computer will be really helpful to minimize feedback. But to be able to do that and to select the right um, uh, input and output for your audio, you're going to want to kind of change some of the things in a setting. Whoops, not what I wanted. So. To choose where you're going to have that information come from, you're going to go to this little ellipse. And here you can say show a device settings. 
In the device settings, you can choose what speakers that you have available. So right now my speakers are set up to my headphones. So the sound isn't coming out of my computer. It's not coming out of my webcam. It's going right into my headphones here and kind of just isolating that information right into my ears. Also, you can choose which microphone you're using. So like I can actually have the microphone going uh, right into this little microphone in my uh, headphones or I can go from my webcam or um, the microphone from my computer. Currently, my best microphone is my webcam uh, microphone, so that's why I have this selected. You can also uh, choose to kind of change the volume of your speakers. This can also help minimize the amount of feedback that is being produced. If you want to change which camera that you're using, so like for me, my laptop's camera is not the greatest. It has pretty bad quality. And so fortunately, my husband plays D&D &D and he has a nice little webcam for his D&D &D campaigns. So he let me borrow it. So that's what I have right now. So you can actually choose which camera you would like to use. So first and foremost, Focus on uh, muting yourself unless you are speaking. Another reason why it's important to mute yourself is to minimize distractions. We're all going to be at home or uh, some other location uh, participating in our online course. And uh, we're going to be around our families, around our pets. So there are different things that can kind of distract the class. So I have a little cat and he loves to meow at the doors. There's nothing on the other side of the door. But uh, he still is upset that the door is closed. So I don't want that interrupting our class time. So I keep my microphone muted when I'm not speaking. So that has that kind of covers auditory distractions or uh, and like auditory feedback. Another thing that we're going to need to focus on is video distractions. So in addition to being able to mute our microphone, we can actually turn off our camera. And so you can turn it off and on. During our class time, what I would prefer is if we um, just like what I would prefer is that we turn off our camera unless we are speaking to the class or we're presenting, asking a question. Just like we would do with our microphone. We only use the camera and the microphone when needed. Um, so that doesn't really that sounds kind of counterintuitive right and doesn't really make sense why would we do that um, if we're trying to have an online conversation really it comes down to two things visual distraction and accommodating bandwidth um, for our classmates and ourselves so let's first talk about visual distraction just like sound can make it a little bit difficult to uh, pay attention if there's a lot of noise occurring in the background, there can be a lot of visual uh, kind of distractions. So right now I'm in front of my bookshelf at home and you may be looking at like my beautiful Mütter Museum book, my Grey's Anatomy book, my forensics book, my husband and I build models, so lots of things are going in the background that may be distracting you. So one thing that I may do is I can actually choose to blur my background. And how do I do that? So you can go more actions and blur background. Isn't that cool? So everything in the background 
gets blurred out. So this will actually help reduce visual distractions when I am talking to you. So if my husband walks behind me or if my cat is running around or all of these books are really, really interesting, but not what we're talking about at the moment, will help reduce that visual distraction. Another, uh, Another option to reduce visual distraction is just to turn off your camera. So when you turn off your camera, your initials will be posted and uh, when your initials will be posted. Turning off your camera uh, will be really helpful because it will help reduce those visual distractions. Another reason why we turn off our camera is because we have to accommodate for the limited bandwidth we have on the internet uh, in our own house and in the houses of our classmates. So being able to turn off the amount of video and amount of information will make it easier for the audio to come through and be able to have a more uh, conducive conversation if thing, uh, if we're not spending all of this bandwidth focusing on the video. So in summary, turn off the microphone and the camera when you are not using them to in the conversation. And if you have a question, turn them on and so that we can see you when you are asking a particular question. Okay. Mm, let's see. Are there other things that I would like to include? Ah, there is going to be a nice little chat feature. Currently, I'm uh, practicing and uh, working in this meeting, but you can actually talk to each other with this side chat feature and ask questions. You can even include emojis and other things to talk to each other. In this class, if we want to kind of like raise our hand or you want attention without turning on your microphone or you want me to address a question, please use this hand wave emoji to raise your hand in class. And then you can actually type your question right at the end of that hand wave emoji. And I will be looking at the um, chat and I can address your question that way. So you can either ask a question by unmuting your microphone and asking or you can uh, raise your hand with this hand wave feature and uh, ask your question in the chat. I ask uh, for you guys to use the chat to communicate and focus on communicating with the subject in the class. I know it's very tempting to uh, kind of spam the chat and just chat about other things in the meantime while you're listening to the conversation as a whole. But a lot of important things that pertain to the class could get lost that way. So I would love to see all of your pictures of your pets and uh, pictures of your favorite band, like spamming, for me, spamming like BTS videos but that's not going to be too conducive for the class. So if you are going to use the chat, please use the chat specifically to focus on what we're talking about in class that day. OK, so let's as a summary, just for like classroom etiquette, one, uh, be sure to reduce uh, uh, audio distractions by muting your microphone and turning it on when you want to ask a question. You can reduce visual distractions by either blurring your background or you can turn off your camera, which is preferable, and turn it on when you're asking a question. If you're going to use the chat feature uh, that is on the side, so to get to the chat feature, you would use this little uh, sidebar and you can open it and close it like so. Um, 
please use the chat bar for the topic that we're discussing in class only and not uh, other side conversations going on. I really want you to focus on the class. If you prefer to ask a question in text, use this hand wave feature to raise your hand and write your question at the end, and I will address it uh, accordingly uh, during the lecture. If you have any other questions about uh, etiquette or you want to kind of practice going through these features, don't be shy to ask. I'd be happy to help. Have a great day and be good to yourself. Bye, my little nerdlings. Peace. Bye.